remember that, please. No! Uh. 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 I I can see the world. I can see the world. Where are you, buddy? I'm under the ground. I'm under the earth. I'm under the world. I'm in water. Help me! Go! Go! Help me! There's a car over here. No! No! Don't leave me! What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Training Grounds, episode number three. We're gonna jump into the submachine guns, my least favorite category, but we do have some winners in here. Hope you brought some gin and tonic. Let's get this party started. We're gonna start off with the Micro Uzi. It is the most common, in my opinion, found submachine guns in the world, especially when you're starting off and you don't have a gun. I've found this gun more often than I even find shotguns. I just wanna start off by saying that do not underestimate the power of this gun. It is amazing in CQC. The Micro Uzi has been zeroed in at 100 to 200 meters. However, I have to mention guys, the most effective range on this thing is anything under 80 meters. This gun can even compete with high powered shotgun. Trust me when I tell you, if you get the jump on any target in a CQC situation, they will have little to no time to respond and this gun will literally melt face in a matter of a few milliseconds. The iron sights on this gun is fairly bad and the fact that you can't put a red dot or any kind of scope attachments is even worse. It comes with its very own custom custom micro Uzi buttstock attachment along with two others, a magazine attachment and also a muzzle attachment. If you ask me, even without any attachments, this gun is extremely stable and that's why so many people choose to use it in close quarter situations. So let's go ahead and rate the gun. Obviously it's an SMG, it's not gonna do that great on damage and range, but I did give it a seven on stability and an eight on rate of fire. The ammo capacity is sort of average with an extended mag, you can hold 35 rounds in the magazine and the attachments, of course, there's only three, so I gave it a six, which gives it a total of 30 points and an average rating of 2.5 stars out of five. All right, let's talk about my least favorite SMG at the moment, the Ump. Now the Ump did get a nerf recently and it hasn't quite been the same for a lot of us. It's chambered in nine millimeter rounds and has a zero distance of 100 meters all the way up to 300 meters. However, if you ask me, I think the most effective range on this thing stops at about 150 meters. It definitely has a bit more recoil than the Micro Uzi and the rate of fire isn't that great either. It comes in three firing modes, single, burst and fully auto and also has every single attachment slot except for the buttstock. If you want my opinion, this gun does fairly well on squad servers in CQC situations because you get an extended mag that holds 40 rounds in the magazine and you have a little bit of an advantage there, but that's only in CQC situations. Where the gun quickly falls apart, IMO, is the slow rate of fire and the inaccuracy in third person over the shoulder. This fucking gun sucks! Fucking what? It's just not as accurate as it used to be. Let's go ahead and rate the gun. It definitely has a little bit less stability and rate of fire than the Uzi. However, I did give it two extra points for damage and range. This gun tops out at a total of 33 points, which gives it an average rating of 2.75 out of five. Lee, let's get some motion, Lee. Okay. Yeah. It's time for the VSS. My God, what is this abomination? The VSS, which stands for Vintoka Snaya Pakaya Spletnaviakya. I totally butchered that up, okay? But just Wikipedia that shit. It means not an SMG, not quite the sniper, a penis with a vagina. I'm gonna get the positives of this gun out the way first because trust me, there's a lot of negatives coming up. It does come with a times four PSO scope and also a suppressor, which can come in real handy at the start of a round. Now I have to admit this gun is extremely quiet, making it impossible for your target to tell where the shots are coming from, especially anything over 200 meters. Even though the gun is chambered in a nine millimeter subsonic round, it takes two sniper attachments, a magazine attachment and a buttstock attachment for sniper rifles. You've got two fire modes, single and fully auto, and the gun is zeroed in at 100 meters. And that should be a big hint because this gun quickly falls apart in CQC. One of the biggest downsides to this gun is that it only holds 10 rounds in a regular magazine and 20 in an extended magazine. Plus the reload times are ridiculously long with 4.5 seconds on a normal reload and 3.1 seconds with a quick draw. This gun is easily gonna get you killed in CQC situations. 
shit. However, if you can get some distance between you and your target, it's actually not that bad. It's a good startup weapon, well, at least until you find an AR. Now let's go ahead and rate the gun. It gets the same damage as an ump. I gave it a bit more on the range, obviously because of the times four PSO. The stability is just about the same. The rate of fire is four. Ammo capacity really low. I gave it a three and attachment seven for the built-in scope and suppressor, which gives it a total of 25 points and an average rating of 2.08 stars out of five. We got this. Finally, we get to the Chris Vector. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, Hands down, this is my favorite SMG in the game. I've already done one vector challenge. If you haven't already seen it, there'll be a little icon that's gonna pop up for that video right now. Now this gun takes a 45 ACP round and is zeroed in at 50 meters. The rate of fire on this gun is super fast and with little to no recoil, this gun is an absolute beast in CQC situations. I've taken out many squads with this gun. The only downside to the Vector is that it only holds 13 rounds in the magazine and 25 in an extended magazine, which is not a lot, but with a rate of fire like this, you will unload an entire magazine in less than <laughs> 1.2 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the gun can take up to five different attachments, one for the lower rail, the muzzle, magazine, buttstock, and the upper rail. Now even though the gun is extremely accurate in third person, over the shoulder, CQC situations, I probably would not recommend using this gun in anything over 100 meters. The only downside to this gun is the ammunition capacity, but if you're on a solo server, that wouldn't even matter. Let's go ahead and rate the gun. Now, even though the gun uses a 45 ACP round, it only does a little bit more damage than the ump. I had to give it the same on the range. After all, it is an SMG. Where this gun really breaks away is the unbelievable rate of fire and of course, little to no recoil and 10 for all five attachment slots. This gun gets a total of 39 points, which gives it a total rating 3.25 stars out of five. Vector, baby. Well, that's it for the SMG guide. Another freaking milestone. Thank God it's over. Oh, that's right. We still have one more SMG to review. The goddamn Tommy gun. Fuck! This gun in this game, it's just an anomaly. I can't explain it, guys, okay? But I will say this. If I ever meet you, PU, if we ever meet and I do an interview with you, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this Tommy gun obsession that you have because we had to deal with the Tommy gun even back in Armor 3 BR. I can pick up the gun. Ah, move! And of course, it was one of the shittiest guns that you could find at the start of the round. Can't believe I still have all that Air Station Poly footage from back in the day when I only had like 300 subs. Well, at least in that game, it wasn't in a crate. Over here, it's just hard to get the footage that I needed for the guide. Tommy gun? Fine. I will break the gun down for you. Don't worry about that. But it's just very hard to get the footage because the gun is crate fodder and hardly anybody ever picks it up. This gun takes the same 45 ACP rounds that the Vector and the 1911 take. It's zeroed in at 100 meters with a max of 200 meters. It has two firing modes, single shot and fully automatic. The reload time on the 100 round drum mag is around three and a half seconds which is pretty decent for a drum mag. But I will say this, the recoil on this gun is absolutely terrible. It'll quickly get away from you. And with only one attachment slot, it makes for a very limited use gun. The one attachment slot that you do get is a muzzle attachment. And the fact that you can't even put a scope on this thing, it just makes it that much more terrible. The iron sights aren't that bad, but if you're ADSing, this gun will take up about a good three quarters of your screen. Honestly, the best use of this gun is anything between 30 and 50 meters. It can't compete with shotguns and it's definitely not an AR. And the terrible stability doesn't help either. Let's go ahead and rate the gun now. It does a bit more damage than the Vector, so I gave it a five. Same on the range, stability down to six. Rate of fire is pretty decent, it's seven, and 10 out of 10 for obviously the 100 round drum. But only gets a two in attachments, that's a total of 32 points, which means it gets an average rating of 2.67 stars out of five. Well, that's it for the SMG guide. The AR guide is coming up next. I definitely bit off more than I could chew, but I'm hoping that I can put everything together, including the sniper and the DMR guides by the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys give me. 
You guys are amazing. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you found it fun, if you found it informative, please be sure to give it a like, guys. Please, let's get this video up to 200 likes if it's possible. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. As always, stay strong, guys, and I'll see you 